So if you want to use the car club, you visit our website, which is tisburyelectriccarclub.com. You click join, and then you download the app. And on the app, you can choose your car on a map, book the hours that you want to drive. And then using the phone as a key, you can drive off. That said, you can also use a fob to access the car. And if you can't access the internet, there is a phone number and we can book the car for you. And it's great in terms of being able to use it and not have to think about any other on costs. It's already charged up. When I return it, I just put it back on charge again. It's really handy because it's so quiet. You kind of just breeze along. We've partnered with the Tisbury Electric Club for those people who can't afford to join right now and don't have a car. If they meet the charity's criteria, then we will pay their membership free and some of the early mileage. We were thinking about going electric, but it was too big an investment to begin with. So we've reduced to one car instead of two, and it's an experiment to see what we'll do going forward. The thing that prompted me to join was actually the ridiculously low amount of driving that I do in my own car. Sometimes I can go a whole week without taking my car out of the garage. I found out about the car club when I went to an event about facilities in the village and the car club were there promoting this new club. We used to have two cars and we've now got the one, so I use it when I need to pop into Salisbury to do some shopping or if I need to pop over to see my sister. My car broke down, was in a garage for a couple of weeks. I used the electric car in the meantime. Without the electric car club, that would have meant me cancelling appointment, cancelling work opportunities, not being able to drive my son to school. So it's been a godsend. I've actually began to challenge myself about whether I really need my own car at all. And I think that's a key issue for lots of people in rural environments. They have a car because they're isolated and they can't get around and have mobility issues. So a car club like this alleviates many of those problems. It's a real asset to the community. On the environmental front, it's a great concept to have an electric car rather than using more and more fossil fuels. It's much more preferable to actually buying more and more commodities, more cars, and having something that can be shared. So aside from any environmental benefit, we did some research on what people are generally spending on owning a car locally, and it tends to be within two to 3,000 a year. Joining the car club could save people up to 2,000 pounds a year, so people can save an awful lot of money what that means really is that people end up with more disposable income that could be spent locally and it makes the local economy more resilient. And if you can get out to the larger towns and the hypermarkets, you can save significant amounts on your food. The funding from NextGen has been instrumental. So we are pulling together lots of different elements like the legal infrastructure, the insurance, and then the technological platform that underlies it all. So we are now shareholders in a tech platform co-op, which we have now brought here. We're the first people to bring that to the UK, and we're joining up with other groups to extend the reach of that technological platform. And so really, it was the exploring of those very different models that was made possible in the first place by Power to Change. People have to trust that you're gonna be here for the long term if you're asking them to make a shift in their own behavior. So there's a real challenge in making people confident that we are here for the long term. And I think that the impact going forward will be lots of little communities, probably often hosted in community energy organizations, community transport organizations, land trusts, housing associations, any number of different communities that act as anchor tenants. Kind of what we see it becoming is almost like transport as a utility. You know, not something that's exclusive and unique to a few people. Certainly the electric car should be available to everyone. And long term, really, what we see is that the information that we gain from our users can be pooled with public transport providers, can be pooled with the trains and the buses in order to offer moving things and people in the most efficient, optimal way.